Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the meaning and how to adopt terms of settlement in a Nigerian court. Okay, so let's dive into it. Terms of settlement, basically, a court may so motto on its own or on the application of one of the council, make parties to explore settlement, particularly when the court sees that what parties for example, um, in a matter in the dissolution of marriage, where parties are trying to talk about custody of children, the court may just give parties to go and explore settlement on that aspect. Okay, so the court may do that on its own, or one of the counsel may make such application. Even if the other counsel is objecting, the court most likely will grant it. Like, okay, you people should go find a meeting uh, point, sit talk about everything and draft it out in a paper bring it back to the court file it and bring it back to the bring it back to the court and file it and then the court will adopt it as a consent judgment okay so um this happened mostly in or in yeah mostly in civil matters i've never had of a situation like this in a criminal matter okay so um yeah there is a there's a part of plea bargain in criminal matters but um talking about terms of settlement it's mostly in um, civil matters okay so let's dive into it how do you um, adopt or move your terms of settlement in court as a lawyer so when you get to court you know check your cost list pen your name down when your matter is being called appear before the court there's a video on how to make an appearance before the court so um for example i'm in court right now and i want to adopt my terms of settlement May it please this honorable court, Mary Damilola or Dedele. My humble appearance is for the plaintiff. I'll take about and allow the other counsel to announce his appearance. So after that, since I'm the plaintiff, I will inform the court like my lord. The business of the day is for a report of settlement. Um sequence of the confidence of the court, we're ready to proceed. Um, the court to ask what is the what is the position right now? Then you will make the court to understand that very well, your lordship. On the last of John dates, the courts since the court already requested for what is the situation, we well, can just you can give that a little. Um, can I use the word preamble right now? So um, on the last of John dates, the court directed or the plaintiff counsel, the defendant, made an application for parties to explore settlement. My lord, parties have been able to fully reach an agreement and um, we have drafted the terms and same as when filed and we already placed a copy we already um, provided a copy for the court so the court will then check the court will have to the other party is that the situation then the other party would say yes your lordship that is the situation the court, the court will then allow you to move your application if the court does not have any objection some um, courts want all parties to fully sign. That is how it's meant to be. I mean, not just the counsel alone, the parties in the matter. So if the court is not um, comfortable with the execution of the document, the court may not allow you to proceed. So if the court wants you to still perfect some things, you can then the, the court, you can then go back, put your house in order and come again for the adoption so but on the on the day you want to adopt this is how you just go about it there's just few lines just like you um when adopting your final written address that's very simple okay so once the court permits you then you say thank you your lordship my lord the terms of settlement is dated the 15th day of march 2024 and was filed on the 16th day of march 2024 um, I'm actually looking into the camera because I'm just doing a tutorial. So whenever you're in court, look into your process. You don't need to cram. Look into your process, check the dates, give that to the court. Then look into your process to check, um, yes, the date of the, the, the dates on the process and the date of filing. But make sure you can, your process is on your table for you to easily flip. So you're not to, to be wasting the time of the court, okay? Or probably you write it down. You can write it down. To when you gain more confidence okay so um let's continue so my lord the terms of settlement is filed is dated the 15th day of march 2023 and filed on the 16th day of march 2023 or 
probably if it's been dated and filed on the same day, you make the call to know that, my Lord, the terms of settlement is dated and filed on the 15th day of March 2023. The next thing you tell the court is, my Lord, we adopt all the terms of the settlement. I will hold your lordship to enter sin as the judgment of the court or as consent judgment. We are most grateful. Very simple. Very simple. So once you prepare well, you'll be able to beat anxiety and you'll be able to have more confidence in court. And the court will even see that in you like, oh, this is a sharp, brilliant young lawyer. Okay. So that is that on how to adopt terms of settlement. And I already mentioned to you when the courts may the courts may find it necessary and make such um, directive or either of the counsel, either of the lawyer may apply to the courts for parties to go and exploit settlement. Particularly when you see that you you have a bad case, so you can most likely the defendant you can just feel like oh why why are we even doing this? Let's just go and reach an agreement so that it will be like a win win. Okay. So like what the judgment of the court oftentimes will just be one party will be at the losing hand. Okay. Oftentimes not all time. Okay. So that is all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and make a comment and um as a new week as a young lawyer if you're watching this video and you feel there is a tutorial you want me if, um, a, a topic you want me to make a tutorial on drop it in the comment section or you send me an email my email address will be in the description box thank you so much and i will see you in my next one bye